Hey everybody, this is Dr. Mark Millar. Today we're continuing our discussion on the basics of lithium orotate and the safety guidelines you should know before you start using lithium. So can everybody use lithium orotate? Well, potentially, yes. But if you're on the list I'm about to read, you're, you're one of the exceptions. It definitely needs to be supervised by a physician uh, before you use lithium. Allow me to read this list to you. You should not take lithium orotate without consulting your physician if you are presently taking prescription lithium, if you are taking other medications that may interact with lithium, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you're considering giving it to an infant, child, or an elderly parent, you have pre-existing kidney disease, you have previously experienced a pharmaceutical lithium-induced kidney dysfunction. You should not take this again without consulting your physician if you are hypothyroid, you have a heart condition, you have Brugada syndrome, you have cystic fibrosis, you suffer from severe dehydration or exhaustion, you have recently experienced sodium depletion, you're taking diuretics or ACE inhibitors, you are on a low sodium diet, or you suffer from Addison's disease. So these are all exceptions to the rules about who can take lithium orotate. If you're on that list, you must consult with your physician before you try lithium orotate so you understand uh, all the potential uh, problems that may occur there. If you're taking lithium unsupervised, you don't have a doctor assisting you, then it's critically important that you understand what is the safe maximum daily intake of lithium. The safe maximum <clears throat> is critically important to understand if you're going to take these lithium levels that are beyond that for months or years, for example, with bipolar disorder uh, or a severe case of post-traumatic stress. In those situations, you may end up taking more, short term at least, um, more than the great, the safe maximum limit daily. This safe maximum daily intake of lithium does not apply to those of you that are on the exception list that I just uh, read out for you. So if you're on that list, the safe maximum daily intake does not apply to you. You may be able to take the safe maximum, but you can't assume that. Again, you must uh, seek the consultation of a physician if you're on the exception list, uh, as previously stated. So uh, this is, uh, I think, really important. Most of the people I talk to have no idea how much lithium they're taking and experimenting potentially with lithium levels uh, that may be problematic for them. If you're taking lithium unsupervised, you don't have a doctor assisting you, then it's critically important that you understand what is the safe maximum daily intake of lithium. The safe maximum <clears throat> is critically important to understand if you're going to take these lithium levels that are beyond that for months or years, for example, with bipolar disorder uh, or a severe case of post-traumatic stress. In those situations, you may end up taking more, short term at least, um, more than the great, the safe maximum limit daily. So how do you determine your safe maximum lithium intake. Well, first, this is based upon your lean body weight. So if you don't know what your lean body weight is, uh, basically it's uh, your leanest weight, essentially, without uh, the excess body fat. So if you're 10, 20 pounds overweight, uh, take that off. You're using your lean body weight without the excessive uh, fat. So determining your lean body weight can be a little tricky if you're overweight and you have no idea what you would weigh without the excess fat, the best way to get a good idea of what your lean body weight is to consult online a height to weight ratio. So this will list your height and a normal weight range for you. And so just pick right in the middle of that range and use that as your estimated lean body weight. This doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be uh, exact. So here's how it works. Basically, based on your lean body weight, you can take half of that number. Let's say you're a 100 pound individual, lean, female. You can take half that 100, which is 50, and convert that to milligrams of pure elemental lithium. So that's the safe maximum number. If you weigh 100 pounds, half of that are 50. Convert that to milligrams of pure elemental lithium. So grab your calculator. Take your estimated lean body weight, divide it by two, and that's the number you're going to use as your safe maximum 
elemental lithium. Most people are doing, they're taking lithium, any amount, whatever, and they're not checking their lithium levels. They don't check their kidney function because they're not concerned about it. But if you're gonna go higher than 50% and you don't have a doctor, then it's critically important you get your lithium levels checked and your kidney function, particularly if you're gonna keep those higher levels for months or years because it's a gradual decline of the kidney when rates, these lithium levels are too high. It's not something that shocks your system necessarily overnight, it's just a gradual process of lithium levels being too high. So again, this 50% uh, of your body weight, lean body weight as your maximum safe limit is the line at which if you cross, then you're advised to get your lithium levels checked and your kidney function, particularly if you're gonna maintain those levels for a very long time. Under a doctor's supervision with laboratory monitoring of lithium levels and kidney function, bipolar patients are taking three to four times the safe limit I've described for you, and they're able to do that because they are monitoring their situation. However, individuals that take three to four times the safe level I'm describing have been shown, when compared to the general population, to have a higher incidence of kidney disease. And this typically doesn't show up for at least 10 years or longer that the kidney begins degrading. So it's important to understand that while you can take much higher levels, you must monitor these levels and kidney function to assure that you're, uh, that you're safe, that you can do this uh, with peace of mind. How much lithium ortate should you take for your condition? Well, I can't tell you specifically individually how much you should take because I haven't consulted with you and there are far too many variables to consider. But as a general rule, most conditions that lithium is beneficial for begin responding at about 10 to 20 percent of your lean body weight. I recommend 20 to 25 percent of your lean body weight for depression, for example. However, there are many diseases, particularly those that are uh, stress-induced uh, uh, regarding their high stress hormones, etc. These are hyperactivity disorders such as ADHD, bipolar disorder, post-traumatic stress. Wherever there's high stress, high stress hormones, these conditions can take uh, considerably more than 10 to 20 percent of your lean body weight. In those uh, situations, we're usually looking at 30 to 50 percent of your lean body weight for those uh, more stressed, uh, stressful conditions. Particularly for the conditions with the high stress hormones, you may have to actually go over the 50% mark that's uh, considered safe without monitoring your situation. You may have to go higher than that, at least in the short term, to get the uh, relief of these high stress hormones. And again, that's safe to do that if you're going to do it just for a few days, uh, it's no problem. Don't go over the 50% mark for more than a few days unless you're going to get monitored, lithium levels, kidney, uh, the kidneys checked. And the kidney test you're looking for there is the creatinine clearance. Creatinine. C-R-E-A-T-I-N-I-N-E. Creatinine clearance. That'll be the test you get. Now, <clears throat> a lot of laboratories will allow you to just walk in and request um, without a doctor's prescription uh, to go ahead and get your lithium levels checked and uh, your, your kidney. You just walk in and tell them, I'm taking a lithium ortate over the counter and uh, you can call them and tell them that you want to get these tests done and many of them will allow you to do that without a doctor's prescription. So that's good because uh, so many of you don't have a doctor, can't afford to go to see a doctor, uh, plus run all the tests and in this case you might be able to get the test done even if you don't have a doctor. So look into that as an option. Now, once you've achieved the results you're looking for with the lithium, let's take anxiety disorders, for example. You're gonna keep increasing your lithium levels, a good number is by five milligrams a day, until you reach a level where you experience significant relief of anxiety. In other words, a profound effect of, of feeling grounded and relaxed and a, a significant decrease of, of feelings of anxiety, uh, that's been minimized now. So you've reached this level where you get results, and at that point I recommend you stay at that level that you got those results for at least two weeks, it may take four weeks, 
but at least two weeks before you attempt to lower your lithium levels down to a lower maintenance level to help you stay in balance and without anxiety, for example. So you don't have to take the same lithium levels. You got the results initially long term. You're going to be able to reduce those levels. And usually it's uh, by about half what you achieve the results. You come down half of that is usually a good number for just maintenance, which you will bump up your lithium levels again if you endure another big stressful event. So work, relationships, death of a spouse, whatever big event occurs, all of a sudden you're stressed and you're taking lower levels of lithium. Now you're not getting the results to reduce the anxiety again. So just go back up to where you get the results again. Stay there for a period of days or weeks, depending on you how, what's going on. Uh, and then once that's stabilized or the situation is calmed a bit, then you can go back down to your lower maintenance level. So um, I think it's critically important that people understand that you're not gonna have to take massive levels of lithium every day for the rest of your life. It's not, it doesn't work that way. Um, there are exceptions to that. There are in individuals, bipolar individuals, and they're the smaller uh, group uh, for sure, but they have to take uh, pretty much on a daily basis a certain set high limit, and if they go below that, then they start experiencing potentially mania. So uh, those individuals are out there as well, <clears throat> uh, but for most of us, I believe that uh, we can definitely go with lower maintenance levels and just deal with the situation that may arise and then increase our levels accordingly as needed. So I hope that helps. In closing, I believe lithium is highly beneficial to all Americans. Lithium is a unique trace mineral that has the potential to transform lives and significantly improve the health of all Americans, indeed the whole world. So what do you have to lose? Why not try it? Health benefits begin at just one milligram a day. And by taking 10 to 20% of your lean body weight, you can begin to see improvements in all types of systems within your body, like building stronger bones, healthier skin, stronger hair, improve your mood, enhance your deeper sleep patterns, strengthen your memory, your focus at work, reduce anxiety. There are so many benefits to this mineral. We're just getting started. I'm gonna go into this much deeper in further videos for you. I must reiterate, I no longer practice chiropractic. I no longer maintain an active license to practice chiropractic. I'm not treating you as my patient. I'm offering you my services as a consultant. Please be advised this information is for educational purposes only, and you're advised to consult with your physician before you use lithium ortate or make any changes to your medicinal protocols. For more information, go to thelithiumdoctor.com or just Google lithium doctor. If you're in need of assistance, please feel free to call me. I regularly consult with doctor and patient simultaneously while you're visiting your doctor's office. This creates a unique opportunity for us to share and learn from each other and greatly assists in the successful utilization of lithium orotate. My regular office hours are 9 to 11 a.m. and 1 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturday by appointment. To schedule a consultation, call 480-282-1545. Again, 480-282-1545. If you cannot afford to pay for a consultation, please call me for a free three-minute consult to help you get started with lithium orotate, get on the right track. I sincerely look forward to hearing from you. God bless.